Hi people. Have you noticed something on this week? Any change in the weather or life in general, apart from the fact that we just entered a new year? Well, if you didn't, we would be shocked because one of our newest favorites, 1883, missed its schedule this week. That's to say, the highly expected episode 4 of 1883 didn't get aired, which is highly surprising for us. However, upon checking, we realized that this was a tactical move on the creator of the show, Taylor Sheridan's part. He probably thought that everyone will focus on Yellowstone season 4 finale, which will cause 1883 to be unfairly overshadowed. Naturally, he probably thought it would be more fitting to push the series for a week, which we respect. That being said, the episode not only pushed back for a week, but also still lack a proper trailer, which is a little bit annoying. Still, we love to speculate on what to expect from any of Sheridan's shows, since he has a twisted mind that we struggle to get in, which makes it fun to think about. 1883 is a prequel series to Yellowstone, taking place in the 19th century, as the title suggests. Focusing on the first generation of Duttons, the series witnesses the Duttons' journey from Tennessee to Montana with the hope of starting a new life. Even though this concept is highly exciting, we were doubtful at first if the series would be as successful as Yellowstone, since Yellowstone is a masterpiece and it would take a lot to reach the same level with the show. Besides, many fans of Yellowstone might prefer to stick with one show rather than exploring the entire universe, as it takes a lot of effort and time to commit to multiple series at once. Nevertheless, Sheridan took a really smart step and included some short scenes from 1883 in Yellowstone Season 4. It was a genius move because by doing so, Sheridan linked the two series together, underlining that if you miss out on 1883, you will probably miss out on Yellowstone too. In the first scene, we watch James Dutton riding with his two sons on his ranch and coming across a Native American tribe. At first, the two groups were nervous about each other and had to think twice before engaging in a dialogue. Once they started to talk, things seemed a lot easier for a second. The tribal leader expressed that his father has just died and he would like to bury his body in the field since it was his home. James accepted the demand and provided the tribe with food. Then, we returned to modern-day Montana and watched people finding the remaining of the tribal leader's body. Now, after watching that scene, it's almost impossible to not want to watch 1883. Thus, Missing a week of the show broke our hearts, as we cannot wait for January 9 to come so that we can watch episode 4 of the series. We expect the new episode to witness the Duttons' past in Tennessee. So far in the series, we got the opportunity to meet with all the Duttons and appreciated them for who they are as they all are highly unique characters. However, something is missing. We know that the family wasn't poor or hopeless by any means, which suggests that they had a pretty good life back in Tennessee. Even their clothes and manners suggest that they were a pretty usual middle-class family. And yet, somehow, for whatever reason, James Dutton decided to take a pretty difficult journey and start over. This is a radical move for a family man to take, especially because he was traveling with four women and a boy, taking the responsibility to protect them all, was a pretty bold move even for a man like James. Therefore, we would like to take a glimpse into the family's past and see what triggered this desire to change and how the rest of the family agreed to follow James in this crazy journey. Previously, we watched a brief clip of James' time in the Civil War, and even that brief moment made the character much more understandable in our eyes. Still, it's not enough. Now, we expect to see all the details about their life in Tennessee through flashbacks. We also expect Elsa and Innes to improve their relationship in this episode. The two gradually moved toward having a really cute romance, and even James gave his permission to the couple. That being said, the year 1883 is too risky to be romantic. In other words, their journey is full of challenges, and we would be doubtful if this romance lasts for long. At the beginning of the show, in the very first scene, we saw Elsa fighting for her life against the Indian Americans. That scene didn't clarify whether she survives or not. However, Neither her family nor Ennies was there with her. We know that the rest of the Duttons survive enough to build a ranch in Montana. However, as far as Ennies is concerned, we feel like his life will be a short one, causing Elsa to experience her first heartbreak. So far, we watched an Elsa who is highly full of life and can see the positive in almost everything. And yet, Ennies' death will probably change everything, and we will witness her getting mature over a series of tragedies. In Episode 4, 
We expect to see those tragedies gradually taking place, as the series completed to introduce the characters and it's now time to witness some major events that will shape the series. Do you agree with our expectations? Do you think 1883 will be a hit as successful as Yellowstone? What do you think has inspired James Dutton to go on this journey with his family? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.